Good morning. We're going to try this today. for punishment today. Good morning, Todd, and Carol Lee, Kathy, glad you're on here. Uh, Miss Faye, <clears throat> I will try to do this today. If for some reason I start coughing real bad, I'm just going to call it quits. <clears throat> it uh, still hacking and carrying on and, and uh, but hopefully gonna be getting over this soon um it's been here a week now so we could go away anytime it wants to <laughs> we have a company also and um they're going to be leaving today so <clears throat> we will uh um probably be a little shorter this morning anyway uh because of that <clears throat> and um uh, ooh, 6 a.m. meeting this morning. Yeah, Todd, that would be early. <laughs> I hope they had coffee at this meeting. Uh, uh, Carly, yes, I am feeling a little better. Uh, so, <clears throat> appreciate that. And we pray for you. Carly has uh, uh, surgery on Wednesday. So we will be praying for you and pray that this fixes that crazy kidney issue for you and uh, you can get back on, uh, on uh, normal activities, right? So, <clears throat> all right, well, there's, I missed out on a lot. I mean, I, I'm, I'm grateful that I didn't feel so bad that uh, I, um, couldn't read there's you know one day sometimes when you're sick you just don't feel like doing anything and um just one day like that i've i've actually uh been able to read and and really enjoy it and uh i shared some of that uh yesterday morning in service and um hope that went you know was encouraging and, and just some life lessons you know that moses has given us and and, um, you know, sometimes life isn't easy and, uh, we, we need to look to the Lord and, and trust him. And, and, uh, you know, I was, uh, giving thought to that as I read numbers 20 and, uh, you read in chapter 20 and some crazy things in the life of Moses all in one chapter. Uh, it tells us in verse one. Then came the children of Israel, even the whole congregation, into the desert of Zin in the first month, and the people abode in Kadesh, and Miriam died there and was buried there. So uh, his sister died. So that, that happened in verse 1 of chapter 20. We, we know that um, here, here he is dealing with the death of his sister. That's verse 1. And then verse 2 and there was no water for the congregation, and they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron. You know, it, it's almost like they they weren't even allowed to grieve. You know, and the some sometimes you know people uh, we we need to think a little bit. You know, we we need to learn some compassion and some sympathy um, for for others and. All they could think about were their own needs. And here Aaron and Moses were dealing with the loss of their sister. And in the very next verse, these people are whining and crying and uh, putting pressure on Moses and Aaron. And, you know, the devil's really good at that in our lives. When, when we are uh, dealing with some pretty heavy issues in our lives, whether it be the loss of a loved one. Maybe it's you're you're sick, or uh, you're you're dealing with stress of your own job or something, and maybe the possibility of losing it or something. I don't know. You, you know, you name whatever it is. You're dealing with this, and 
and you just got the news of this, and then somebody's calling you wanting something, and uh, it, it doesn't help your mindset very well, and uh, sometimes it, it uh, makes you do things that you usually wouldn't do, right? Or react in a way that you usually wouldn't react. And that's exactly what happened with Moses. And uh, here they are putting the pressure on them. It, 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 it makes God mad. It, it made Moses mad. And you can't blame them for being upset. And But... So God tells Moses, okay, go out, strike the rock, and give him some water. Well, Moses goes out, and this time he strikes the rock twice. And in doing so, he's disobedient to God. He didn't do what God told him to do. He also brought glory to himself in doing it the way that he did it. Uh, he, he did it out of anger. I mean, there's, you know, frustration, all of that. And so because of that, uh, and, and I, I got to find the verse. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I, lo I lost the verse. And uh, verse 12, and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, because you believed me not to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore you shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. And so, I mean, this all happens just, Miriam just died. They haven't even had a chance to bury this woman yet, it seems like. And then here they are knocking on the door, wanting something. And he, he, had, he had a frustration and disobedience and he didn't do what God told him to do. Now he has lost the opportunity to lead them into the land of Canaan. Uh -uh. And I mean, that's tough. You know, that's really tough, right? Well, and then we get to the end of the chapter and look at verse 25. And and so here, verse, verse 24, uh, this is God talking to Moses. He said, Aaron shall be gathered unto his people for he shall not enter into the land which I have given unto the children of Israel because he rebelled against my word at the water of Meribeth. And Aaron and Eliezer, his son, and bring them up unto Mount Or, and strip Aaron of his garments, and put them upon Eliezer, his son. And Aaron shall be gathered unto his people, and shall die there. And Moses did as the Lord commanded. And they went up into Mount Or in the sight of all the congregation, and Moses stripped Aaron of his garments, and put them upon Eliezer, his son. And Aaron died there in the top of the mount, and Moses and Eliezer came down from the mount. And when all the congregation saw that Aaron was dead, they mourned for Aaron 30 days, even all the house of Israel. Aaron just died. I mean, all of this in chapter 20. I mean, and and I, I don't know the time frame here, but it, it seems like it all happened rather quickly. And, and it just, I don't know, it just goes to show that, that life isn't always going to be easy. And, and here was Moses. I mean, he, he dealt with the loss of his, his wife or his, his sister. Then he turns around and he, and he does something disobedient to God. He loses the right to uh, lead the people into the land of Canaan. And now he's dealing with the loss of his brother. All of a sudden here he is standing alone. I mean, that's, that's hard. That, those things are hard. And, and you know, it, and what is it, you know, Moses was just a, a, a common, ordinary kind of guy, too, and what was a very uh, uh, humble and meek person and uh, didn't bring a lot of things on himself, you know, and and he still had to deal with some of these things. And, and so, you know, I think we ought to take encouragement from that. And, you uh, there are going to be tough times in our lives, and and you, some of you have dealt with those tough times already, and may have to deal with more of them, and and you know we just one day at a time, right? And and just keep serving God until He takes us home, and and uh, there there just it just reminds me too. There just isn't anything here in this world that we need to fall in love with, and let let's make make the most of this life. 
by impacting others around us. And that's what's important. And, and then, you know, right after that, chapter 20, you get in chapter 21, 22. I'm not going to go there, but we have Balaam and Balaam's donkey. And uh, Balaam was willing to sell his gift. Uh, and he was supposed to be a prophet for God. And he ended up being a prophet for hire. And uh, God stopped him from from being the prophet of hire or or he would have died if he tried. Uh, I mean, it, uh, you know, we just don't don't ever put a price on on that which is eternal and never put a price on those things as a as a pastor, never be bought by by those in the church that that might try to use their wealth to influence you in in your your philosophy and your theology. I mean, let God determine what God's word says and preach what God's word says. And um, don't don't let people's money influence you. And uh, you're the same way. Don't you know? Don't don't let money influence you in the decisions that you make. And and uh, just uh, be careful with those things. You know. And um, don't sell out <clears throat> to this world. So. And then I had a great uh, reminder in Psalm 57. uh, I asked this question, have you exalted God today? And uh, Psalm 57, verse one, be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. And so here, first of all, you know, let, let's stay in the shadows of the, of the wings of the Lord, right? And, and stay where we need to be. And then verse five, be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. And uh, verse seven, my heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Have you, have you exalted God today? Have you, have you praised him today? The very last verse, be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, let thy glory be above all the earth. I mean, when when we get off of here today, well, let's thank God and and praise Him and lift Him up and and honor Him and and let's start Monday off right. Let let's start Monday off not thinking about what whatever the characters in the world did this weekend or uh, you know what what stars have swapped wives with other stars or you know whatever hollywood's doing and they're trash and let's not think about any of that junk and and let's just exalt god let let's thank him for what he's doing in our lives and and give him the honor and the glory that he truly deserves and and just walk with him today and and uh you, you know no stress no stress today let's just walk with him Proverbs, he, he gives us that, he, he tells us in Proverbs 11, it's our daily reminder, if you want one, verse eight, it says, the righteous is delivered out of trouble and the wicked cometh in his stead. A hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. When it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoiceth. And when the wicked perish, there is shouting. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. Lord, we we exalt you today, and and we ask that you would place people in positions of power that will bring honor and glory to you. Remove those that are an enemy of the word. Remove those that are an enemy of genuine Christianity, and and, uh, deliver the Christians in, in a uh, in a in a way in which we can see that it's God doing that, and let's exalt God today. Let's let's uh, praise Him today, and and let Him be the one that is our joy. Let Him be the one that is our focus of the day. I mean, how, how powerful is God? Our, our God is is all powerful. I mean, He He. he uh, does all things. He can do all things. I, I was reading in, in uh, it was in Luke chapter eight today, and and it's there that he cast the legion of demons out of that man. Do you, 
In, in, in uh, Roman days, a legion of soldiers was 6,000 soldiers. And so th this young man that was possessed by the devils, over 6,000 soldiers or 6,000 demons <laughs> uh, were, were, uh, had taken over his life and 6,000 against one and they had absolutely no power over him. That's the God we serve. And we should be so thankful for that and understand that there, there is so much to the verse, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And so let's live that way. Let, let's not live defeated today. Let, let's not live in, in uh, a, a constant circle of, of giving in to our vices and then, you know, repenting and, and getting restored and then doing it all over again. Let's have victory. Let's trust him and, and let's walk with him and let's be obedient to him and and, and let's exalt him and, and let's start the week off right, okay? Let's get out of the rut, whatever the rut is. Let's get out of the rut of the way that we think. Let's get out of the rut of, you know, we're in the drudgery of the week and whatever it is that we do all week long. And, and, and let's start it off by praising and glorifying God, exalting him, thanking him for what we have, thanking him for who he is, thanking him for the security of the shadow of his wings and and let's praise him and and let's just start our week off right and just know that he's got things under control so anyway that's it i just about started coughing and and uh not didn't so praise the lord i am going to get off here quickly today and uh we'll, we'll be back on here lord willing tomorrow beautiful weather here uh, today, tomorrow's supposed to be 70 degrees. So I got to feel better so I can get out and just got to spend the time outside. So, but it's good to see everybody. Sorry I wasn't on here, just not able to, to talk. And we're, we'll uh, keep moving forward. And so today, let's exalt the Lord, right? Jesus, I love you. Devil, I hate you. And I'm just going to go out and serve the Lord today. And uh, tell people about Jesus. God bless you guys and have a great day.